It's a revolutionary new technology known as plastic media blasting, or PMB. This process is used for the rapid and safe removal of paint, primer, and other surface coatings from a wide variety of products without the use of dangerous chemicals, damaging sandblasting, or laborious hand stripping means. Although similar in concept to sandblasting, PMB does not use hard damaging abrasives such as silica sand. Instead, soft reusable plastic particles are used which are pneumatically propelled against the surface at low pressures of 20 to 40 PSI. The PMB process can quickly remove paint and primer without damaging sensitive substrates including aluminum, fiberglass, honeycomb, plastics. Plastic media can be used for the rapid and safe removal of virtually all common surface coatings, including lacquer, enamel, polyurethane, powder coatings, primers, and decals. These and many other coatings can be removed from a great variety of surfaces and substrates, including aluminum, steel, fiberglass, magnesium, composites, plastics, rubber. PMB is a particularly attractive alternative to the traditional means of stripping paint from the large number of ground transportation vehicles that periodically need refurbishment. The process can be used on a great variety of vehicles, from collector's item antiques to chemical tankers, from fiberglass Corvettes to aircraft ground support vehicles from exotic Rolls Royces to hard-working military equipment. These vehicles, different as they are, all share one thing in common. For the best possible paint job, it's necessary to remove the old paint all the way down to the bare surface prior to repainting. No other process performs as quickly, safely, and economically as plastic media blasting. Removal of paint from steel is a snap, as these pictures of a Jensen interceptor indicate. Note that on certain paint schemes, it's possible to remove one coat of paint at a time, if so desired. A unique feature of the PMB process is its ability to leave body fillers in ready-to-paint condition, as this Bondo close-up shows. Note the factory-installed lead-filled door seams in original, virtually factory-fresh condition. The stripping of thin aluminum, unthinkable with sandblasting, is easily accomplished with PMB, as this shot of an aluminum Rolls-Royce door indicates. The paint comes off easily, with no bowing or warping occurring at all. An application where PMB shines in particular is the removal of paint from fiberglass. The development of a unique new plastic media now permits extremely rapid, non-damaging paint removal as this Corvette body dramatically proves. Entire Corvette bodies are routinely stripped in an average of only two hours with this process. Not only is the process effective on fiberglass, but it can also be successfully used on plastic urethane parts, as this bumper on a Pontiac Trans Am plainly shows. Plastic media stripping works well on automobiles. It also works well on larger, heavy-duty vehicles. For instance, this 12-bay beverage delivery truck was completely stripped, including cab, aluminum box, and wheels, in just six hours. More and more vehicles are incorporating fiberglass in their structures. This UPS delivery van's fiberglass nose section needed repainting. The PMB process was the solution. This Michelob beer trailer is an excellent example of two common paint stripping problem areas. Thin aluminum panels and tough to remove vinyl decals. As you can see, the paint is readily removed from the thin aluminum side panels with absolutely no warping or bowing. What's important here is the complete and thorough removal of the vinyl decal lettering. The same media that's so effective on fiberglass also performs an outstanding job of cleanly removing the decal, a job formerly possible only with the aid of chemical pre-softeners. Unfortunately, many aluminum vehicles have been sandblasted at one time or another in their lifetimes. Graphic evidence of the damage that's caused by sandblasting is shown by these shots of previously sandblasted areas 
versus a section that had been stripped only by plastic media. Note the bowed and descended sandblasted panels in comparison to the flat, glossy PMB panels. Note also how the panel joint line has been hammered versus the sharp delineation on the PMB side. This molding shot, in particular, shows the rough texture of a sandblasted section alongside the smooth surface of a section treated with PMB. Training is most important. Although the process looks deceivingly simple, careful judgment and caution must be exercised in its use. 